Now next in line, Carl Edwards. Carl Edwards trying to get some. Oh, going. trouble off turn number four. Bobby Labonte right in front of the race leaders. Mark Martin goes around, and Casey Kane goes around as well off turn number four. Mark Martin tags the inside wall and hits hard at the entrance to the garage. Pete Pistoni is there. Well, right in front of me, Mark Martin came sliding down pit road, and the rear end of the car hit the little bit of the uh, the opening here, and right in front of Casey Kane's pit, Casey Kane's pit crew just ran for cover, and the impact literally sounded like a bomb went off. Smoke now pouring out of that race car. Mark's still in the car. The safety crews are trying to get to it, but Joe, that car just came down pit road, just out of control, slid and just caught that opening there of severe hit. And Mark Martin and the Aaron's Dream Machine's day is now a nightmare. Mark climbs out of the car. He is okay, but a very scary moment here on pit road at Michigan. Jeff, what triggered that? Well, it looked to me, and I would want to see it again on Sprint Vision, but it looked to me like perhaps Montoya may have just clipped the left rear of Bobby Labonte and got him turned around, and we had been documenting, Barney, that uh, the top five cars in Mark Martin, of course, the leader of all of them, just inches off of that battle as they tried to work around those two cars and put them both a lap down, and Barney, it was uh, Bobby Labonte that got crossed up right in front of the leaders, right off of turn number four. Mark is not real happy either. I'm sure he's not. A five-time winner here at Michigan, struggling to pick up his first win this year for Michael Waltrip Motorsports, and getting caught up there, it looked like he had the car saved, Pete, as he came off the banking of turn number four, slid down the entrance of pit road, and he probably hit at maybe one of the four worst places you could hit on this entire racetrack layout. You're exactly right, Joe. And actually, the left rear wheel of the car is on the other side of the pit wall. The car basically impaled on this cement wall here that is the uh, one side of the opening that goes into the garage area. And as I said, he did it. it is, I'm literally standing in Casey Kane's pit, and Casey Kane's pit crew had to just duck for cover. A real scary moment here. That actually could have been a lot worse. Mark is out of the car. He's going to go to the infield care center to get checked out. Uh, but this Aaron's Dream machine is used up, and the race leader's day comes to a crashing halt here in Michigan. How quickly things like that can happen at a racetrack. And we were just talking about the fact, had there been some pit guys standing in that particular spot at the entrance to the garage, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ways that could have been a whole lot worse. Not good at all for Mark Martin. Certainly, he is out of the race and done for the day, but uh, uh, it could have been a whole lot worse. And the good thing is everybody's out of the car, walking under their own power, and uh, as you said, we're, we're lucky on that one. So Mark Martin involved. Casey Kane spun, was able to get uh, his car going on. I don't think there's any damage to him. And uh, we will uh, see the Service Master Clean caution out for the second time here today. So the Service Master Clean yellow trucks are on the racetrack once again. Remember, call Service Master Clean if a problem in your home or business slows you down. If you experience water, fire, or smoke damage, call the experts at Service Master Clean who will restore your property and peace of mind in record time. For the location nearest you, go to ServiceMasterClean.com.